Hello humanoids this is Hash Robotics and I am Hari Shankar I hope everyone is doing good in this video we are going to upgrade the Pico Hash with Raspberry Pi Pico W module this module allows us to connect to our Wi-Fi network in the earlier videos we used to control the Pico Hash with HC05 Bluetooth module instead of that we are going to use this pico w module to create a web server by using that web server you can server ui web page like this by using this ui web page we can con uh, we can control the pico hash by using a laptop system and even a mobile circuit connection and everything pretty much the same we are just going to replace this pico module with pico w module and uh, add a few lines of codes let's see how it's done before that if you did not subscribe the channel please subscribe the channel for more robotic project videos like and share the video if you have any doubts or suggestion you can comment in the comment section This is the earlier version of Pico Hash robot with Raspberry Pi Pico module. Now we are going to replace the Pico Hash with Raspberry Pi Pico module which contains Wi-Fi and Bluetooth option. Let's just open the front body to replace the module. You can see that I have connected separate HC05 Bluetooth module to control the robot using mobile application. Now since we are going to replace this with Pico W module, I am just removing the Bluetooth and Pico module. In my left hand, I have older version Pico module and now in my right hand, I have new version Pico W module. Look wise, they both look pretty much the same. 40 IO pins, same micro USB, but except this Wi-Fi socket, which allows us to connect to our Wi-Fi network and create a web server. And the remaining configuration is pretty much similar to Pico module. Now we will just replace the Pico hash with Pico W module. There is no change in the circuit connection. We we'll just place the Pico W module in the existing Pico position. Everything is connected. Now we we'll just connect to our laptop and see the coding part. Before connecting to your laptop, please make sure to remove the power pin from Pico W module. Once you upload the coding and remove the micro USB cable, then we can connect it again. Now we will connect the micro USB cable with the Pico W module. Press the boot button while connecting. Once it is connected, you will see a notification like this. Then go to Raspberry Pi Pico W file manager. This is the Pico drive which we connected. Now drag and drop the micro python firmware for Pico W. To download this firmware, I have attached a link in the description. From there you will get it. Once the micro python firmware is installed, the drive will automatically close. Now open the Tony IDE. In bottom right corner, make sure the micro python raspberry pi pico is selected. If it is not, you can manually select in tools options under interpreter tab. Now the coding part is almost similar to the earlier version. I have made changes only in the main.py file. Import necessary libraries. Compared to previous version, 
i have imported network and socket to connect to a wifi network and to create a web server this ssid is your wifi network name and the password this sda and scl is for i2c communication to server motor drive and oled display the data is connected to pin number 0 and the clock is connected to pin number 1 Here, I am creating instance of I2C communication with data and clock pin. The hash facial expression file is to control the facial expression of the robot, and the hash moves file is to control the movement of the robots. Here, I am just initializing with I2C instance. If you want to know more, please watch the previous videos. Next, let's see how to connect your Wi-Fi network and create a web server to control the robot. To control the robot, we need to create a web server and client web page using socket. To create a socket, first we need to connect to our Wi-Fi network and get the IP address of the Pico W module. In the connect function, create an instance of WLAN and connect your wifi network by passing the ssid and password once it is connected we will get an ip address of the raspberry pi pico module just return the ip address in the connect function now we need to create a connection by using a socket a socket is used to design a socket will act like a bridge between server and the client to open a socket we need ip address and port number pass the pico w ip address that we get and default port number is 80 once the socket is created we can get the connection now we will just return the connection instance in open socket function next we can start our web server using this connection instance once the serve function is called it will start the web server and it will start serving the web page the client can connect to the web server by using the ip address then they can able to control the robot by using the client web page A web page is nothing but a HTML page. Here in this web page, which contains lot, here I have designed a simple web page which contains lot of buttons to control the Pico Hash robot. As you can see in the head tag, I have imported Bootstrap library to make the UI looks nice. Each form tag contains a action attribute of unique data which can be sent to the request URL. I have created a two sections. One is to control the facial expressions and another one is to control the body movements. When you click on any input buttons, it will send a request to the web server. Based on the request, we can control the robot. The final client web page will look like this. If you want, you can change or modify the design. Once the HTML web page is designed, you can return as string in web page function. After serving the web page, if a client clicks on any input button, the request will be received here. After receiving the request, we are splitting the request and getting the first parameter. this parameter is sent from the action attribute of each form attack for example if the request contains default face the default face method will be executed or if it contains happy face the happy face method will be executed once the request is handled the page will get refreshed and it will wait for next request
वन एवरीथिंग इज रेडी नौ विल अपलोड दि कॉडिंग इन टू पीको डब्ल्यू मॉड्यूल अंड विल टेस्ट इट बिफोर अपलोड द कॉडिंग जस्ट कनेक्ट दि ट्वेलव वोल्ट बैटरी टू दि पीको आश रोबोट अंड स्विच आ दि रोबोट Once everything is ready, you can upload the coding. As you can see in the command window, it is trying to connect to our Wi-Fi network. Once it is connected, it will return the IP address. This is the IP address of your Pico W module. By using this IP address, we can connect to a web server. Copy the IP address. and paste it in the chrome window as you can see now the web page is loading if you click on any input button the request will send to the web server so based on the request the web server will execute the following actions now we can see that everything is working fine Once everything is working fine, upload or save the coding into Pico W module. Once uploaded, remove the micro USB cable and connect the power pin from motor drive. Place the battery inside the robot and. close the front body now we can control the pico hash robot from our mobile open any browser and enter the ip address you can see that web page is loaded now we can control the robot using mobile
hope everyone enjoyed the video we'll see you in the next one